the notification on their computer, which is linked to Classcraft. All right, so we are on lesson 2-4, multiplying complex numbers. Today's date is Monday, September 30th, 2019. Choir is hand objective. Anna's on it, yeah. There it is. So not only will you multiply them, but you will also go a level beyond and simplify after you multiply. Leo, Sam, we're okay. Jaden, we're okay. If you guys start talking, I have to move you back to the horseshoe desk. You know the rule. Can I sit closer? You may sit closer. There's a nice spot between Beverly and Ellery over here. That's nice and close. Um, yeah, so this should be review from 2-1. What is the definition of I? It's equal to some square root, Caroline. It is indeed square root of negative one. Thank you for, thank you, Jane, for getting the 50 XP there. And you got this, Caroline. I believe in you. There it is. Thank you. That card is in. And what happens when I take I squared? You should know this as well, Ellery. Careful. If I if I square root, I, those cancel out. Oh, it's negative one. Negative one. Oh yeah, so just as a future reference for this entire year, unless I say explicitly you may yell out, please do not yell out, raise your hand, it will be an automatic deduction of 5 HP. This class really cannot afford to do that. I will be responsible for taking that. If you touch that, Jaden, you will die and never be game warden again. Your character will die, I should say. Um, you guys should also know what i to the power of 3 and i to the power of 4 are. This is a good time to review that. What is i to the power of 3? This is all the way from back to 2-1. You should know these. i to the power of 3, good review. Going back up the curve of forgetting. Does anyone have their card still? Who has their card? Do you have your card? No. From the warm-up. Oscar, go for it. Is it one? It's not one, but take another guess. Because it goes it goes i. Thank you, Sam. Um, I need to give... Uh, Oscar, look at the pattern here. It goes I, negative one. Take a guess here. Negative I. Negative I. There it is. As game warning, what is your question? No, it's it's automatic. If he tried, he just gets it. It's easier that way for you. So he gets fifty. Yeah. That should be kind of the incentive to all of us. Just try. You get the XP no matter what. And then after Oscar gave us I to the power of three, I to the power of four, is what Aurelio. It is indeed 1, because that's equivalent to i to the power of 0. Thank you, Aurelio. Your card is now in. You got your 50 XP. Let's move on to the similarity between polynomial multiplication and our complex multiplication. Jane, what's going on? I'm being disrupted, that's all. <laughs> all right, so you guys should know how to distribute when you're talking about polynomials, and it's going to be very, very similar when we talk about complex numbers. So, is there a quiet raise hand that can distribute this negative 3 being multiplied by the 5 minus 6x? There's only one person that knows how to distribute. That's a scary thought. There's three people that know. It's still kind of scary. There's four people. India. There it is. Again, we are distributing the entire negative 3 into both of these two terms. Copy it down. You guys should know what's going on. We are just distributing. We are going to be doing the same thing for one of our two homework assignments. This right-hand side is a homework assignment. If you know how to do this, you are ready to go. This has two parts, though, because you'll get an i squared. But we know what i squared is equal to, so you'll be able to simplify the next step. Well, actually, you won't be getting i squared until down here. I take that back. But anyway, who can distribute this negative 3 into these terms? Beverly. Positive 18i. Look at the similarities there. Thank you, Beverly. Look at the similarities. They're basically the same thing. Jane, can you please give Sam her 100 XP? I think she definitely deserves it. Yeah, that's positive. She's hardworking at, over there. I see her taking notes. If it was just positive, she would only get 50 XP. I need to add that as a preset. All right, so let's move on to something a little bit harder. Let's multiply 6x by 2x minus 7. Give me a quiet raise hand. How do you do that? One person knows. Two people know. Three people. Can I get four? Can I get four? Four people know. Five people know. We'll give it to Anna. So, um, twelve x um, minus um, fourteen. There's a tiny little mistake up there. See if you can catch it, Anna. 
if I do x to the power of 1, x to the power of 1, I add the exponents and I get x to the power of Leo. I got it, don't worry. You're not going to give her minus HP for calling me stupid? I told you to be quiet because you were being Anna. Alright, just keep on lying. Let's see where you get it like. Well, I don't care. What I don't care what you do, so shut up. Alright, I'm just gonna go with the rude. Sam, you wanna protect? You get 100 XP. Oh, let. So, Anna, go ahead and correct that. It should be 12x. To the second power. To the second power, there it is. Again, when I don't have an exponent, I assume it's to a power of 1. Alright, who wants to try the next one? Yeah, Sam. Minus 42. Wait, there are two is... little mistakes up there. Go for it. Would it be 12i squared? Yep, and look at the other one. Look at the similarity between the two of them. You got this, you got this. Oh, wait, and then four, negative 42i. Right? There it is. It is indeed. Good job. There it is. We have our four examples. They're very, very similar. If you know how to do polynomial multiplication, you know how to do complex multiplication. But there is an additional step here. After Sam gave us 12i squared minus 42i is, oh yeah, people already know how to do it. i squared. This i squared right here, we know what that is. From here on out, I don't want to be seeing i squareds. I mean, you can do it as your temporary work, but that should not be your final solution. Ellery, talk to us. So i squared is the same as negative 1. So you have negative 12 minus 42i. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 There it is. There's our final answer for that last one. Okay, question. Is there, hold on. Yeah, okay, yes. As game warden, I don't think I should do that, but. You still need to do as game warden. Okay. <laughs> Jaden, good job on catching yourself because you're doing the key. Thank you. I'm going to get my phone. Anyways, when I give people, like, if it's like 50 or whatever, they're going to get mad if I, like, it doesn't matter if I hit specifically what I've given for, as long as it's 50. Yes, but it would be nice if you could like, tell I what. I've hit it, like, twice the wrong one, but it's still the same amount. It's still the same amount. That's the main thing that you get the right amount. Okay. Um, and Jane, by the way, it's your your choice whether or not people are being positive and hardworking. I call it out just to help you out. But if you think that someone's being positive and hardworking and they're not getting their XP, that's your call to make. Okay. But if you go crazy with it, then your character dies and then you can never be game warden again. So be careful. I'm, not going crazy. I'm, just, I'm just saying, as a warning to everyone, not just Jaden, if you go crazy thinking that maybe Beverly just deserves 1,000 XP because she's 10 times hardworking and 10 times positive, you might be losing your game warden permissions. I mean, maybe, maybe two or three so far. You can work up to ten. Especially with this class, because this class is so large, it's hard to participate and get the XP. So if you're just being positive, I'm just going to give it to you guys. All right, so this one, you have to use something special. 2x minus 3 times the quantity of 5 minus 4x. Does anyone remember doing that box thing? We called it an area model. Is there a quiet raise hand that can help me set up the area model? Only three people know how to do an area model. Four people, five people. Lorea, go for it. Um, two x minus three. Okay, two. Oh, two x minus three. Like this is Lorea talking. Good job, Lorea. And then on the side, five minus four x. Minus four x. And one thing that I will make a note that I saw a lot of people making a mistake on, and I think it's because of Khan Academy. Khan Academy likes to put the negative in between the five and the four, right in the middle here. It makes more sense to put the negative in front of the four x, so that you remember to distribute that negative throughout these two rows, or two columns, I should say. Okay, so, Lorea has set this up. Thank you, Lorea. I need another volunteer to do, let's do the first two, and then we'll get another volunteer for the last last two. One volunteer, do two multiplication problems. Colby, go for it. I know it's a stretch, but I'm gonna call on you anyway. You got it, top left, go. Good, and? Perfect, Colby gets his 50 XP. Another volunteer, do the last two. You do, yes, Jaden's on it. Um, we'll go over to Caroline. <laughs> there it is. So we have filled in the area model model with a bunch of help. We now need to calculate the area by combining like terms. Do you guys see the like terms? Go ahead and circle them right now on your own paper. I should see everyone circling two like terms. 
circle the like terms. Again, the definition of like term is they have the same variable and they have the same power. Just two things that make like variable or like terms. All right, and then after you circle those like terms, check with your neighbor to the left and the right, and then add all three of them together. Is there a quiet raise hand that can tell me what is the area of all that box after I combine like terms? There should be three terms. Brian, go for it. Say again, I can't, you're going to have to speak a little bit louder. Whereby, uh, 22x, I agree. And then just copy down the ones that you haven't talked about yet. All right. Uh, I guess I should ask, which one goes first? Is it the negative 8x squared or the negative 15? Which one goes first in order to be in uh, standard form, uh, Brian? There it is. Thank you. Yeah, negative 8x squared. I still have that positive 22x, and I have a positive, or sorry, not positive, minus 15. So that is how I use the area model. I set up the area model. I find the area of each individual, I call this a cell or a quadrant, I can find each individual area, and then I combine all the areas to get my final answer. That's the same thing that we're going to be doing over here for the advanced multiplication. This is your second homework assignment. Your first homework assignment is doing these types of problems. Your second type of homework problem is these types of problems. Here we go. Who can set this up for us? Beverly, go for it. Okay. And then this side is five minus four. Perfect. You set it up for us. Someone else is going to do the top. The top two when I multiply. What happens? Oscar, you're up. It's five and we get so far, so good. Perfect. Next volunteer. Oscar got his 50 XP. India. Perfect. Perfect. And do you want to add one thing to one of those squares? Just to. Um, you're going to change that to a 8i because you're going to get negative 1 and negative 2. Perfect. Negative 1 and negative 2. Negative 1 times negative 8 is positive 8. So did you say 8 or 8i? 8i. Eight Be careful there because remember eight. that the i was used Sorry, up. Just yeah, there you go. Perfect. Thank you. And you get through 50 XP. Bless you. Jane's on it. All right, so now I need our final volunteer to add all that up. That's how you play the game, guys. <laughs> they figured it out. I, I think that might be abuse. Okay, so who can add up all the area? Ellery, go for it. 12i plus 10i is going to be 22i. 22i. Um, and then you're going to do negative 15 plus 8, which is going to be that, no, 7. Wait, I can do that. Yeah, 7. Take um, the sign larger? Huh? Take the sign larger? And then it's going, wait. Which one is larger? <laughs> negative 15 or 8? <laughs> Negative 7 plus 22i is our final answer. I guess we should be boxing all of these. Good job. Thank you. Oh, that's really so great. beautiful. Yeah, like, so are you. You're so smart. Yeah, we're just like doing amazing. I know, you're doing great. That's how you play the game, guys. All right, let's do example one and two and three. You guys should know how to do all of these now. If you show me all three examples, you may begin on the homework. Good luck. All right, go for it. Yeah, you talk. Okay. Say who's presenting. This is... Ellery presenting. Um, you guys so. can pay attention or you can choose not to. She does have the correct answer. We're going to distribute the 7i into the 4 and the negative 8i. So negative 7 times i is going to be negative 28i. And then negative 7 times negative 8, the negatives cancel out. So you're going to have plus 56i ah, <laughs> squared, and i squared is equal is equivalent to negative 1, and then in correct form you will have negative 56 minus 28i. Okay. 
This is Beverly. Okay, so first you're gonna do the 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 model area. It's gonna go five, then a negative six i. And we're just gonna draw a little line right there. And then on this side it's gonna be seven and eight i. And then just this is gonna be thirty five. Yeah. And this is going to be negative 42i, this is going to be 40i, and this is going to be negative 40, 48i squared. So then the 48i squared turns into a 48, because i squared is negative 1, and negative 1 times negative 48 equals 48. So then we're going to... Combine like terms. So then um, 35 plus 48 equals 83. And then it's going to be minus 2 because 42, negative 42i minus 40 is 2. And that is your answer. Can you box it? Yeah. Okay, so the first thing we're going to have to do is draw the box with the two spa with the spaces in it. We're going to copy this down to negative 4i. Then we're going to, on this side, we're going to do negative 5 plus 9i. And then this top box right here is going to be negative 10. This box right here is going to be 20. Wait, no. I write this down wrong? No, I didn't. I just pressed the wrong button. Okay, so this one's going to be 20i. Oh, I copied the problem. <laughs> Did I copy it down wrong? No, I didn't. So it's going to be... Um, this is going to be 18i. And then this one's going to be, it's going to, the inside the box is going to be, it's going to be, what number? 36i squared. But because it's a squared, it's going to go to be um, 36 because that number right there is going to be a negative 1, and negative 1 times negative 36 is just 36. And then, and then this one's going to go to be, we're going to add, this one's going to be, um, this one's going to be 26 plus 38i, and then the box, the answer.